Herman have given them a great scoring lift from the perimeter. Watch McBride go to work. McBride with a step back. That's a little too strong, but so he's likely to pass Bob Knight and go into fourth place by the end of the season, so there's no question. They skip one to the wing, and there is Deuce McBride knocking down a triple. Hey. But McCabe has been a starter on and off throughout his career. He's the only pure point guard Bob Huggins has. Ride misses in the mid range. Speak off of kind of training camp to readjust who they are, and uh, Chris Beard going with the youngster Nadol. Oh, Here's a wing jumper for Jalen Bridges. Practice and has gotten limited minutes. But he's a skilled player, Bob. McCabe wow. buries the triple. Oh, my goodness. Good look early as a pure point guard. Air ball from Shannon. And back the other way comes Deuce McBride. He couldn't hit from point blank range. And McBride brings it back the other way. Finds a trailer. And there is a three for Bridges. And see if it works out. It certainly has. And here he comes the other way. He's not really a hesitation point guard. dribble. Yeah, he's just a guard. And Sean McNeil might be his own buster, but he has been ice cold from the field of play. Fires away here and rattles he it is. home. That's like the reverse announcer jinx. <laughs> Get it going, and West Virginia's got the 10-point lead. And here's T.J. Shannon with a step back. A little too strong. McBride runs it down. Look, I love Culver running. He is running the floor tonight, the big fella. Out to midcourt, eight to shoot, though, as it's recovered. By Miles McBride. Down the lane. He floats one up. Gets the bounce off the rim. It just does miss. And he will go to the line to square off against a struggling Duke squad. That is Super Tuesday. And that is your doubleheader tomorrow night. ACC this season. But guess who's figuring out how to get back to the top? Florida State and Virginia. Being that he was out for two weeks. I thought he played with good energy so far. McNeil hangs. Miles McBride out to dry, but he beats the double team. And at the rim, hanging from the rim, is Emmett Matthews they with the rebound. Well, they're opening the for door Burton, for this feeling team. Feeling it. That's an air ball. And I would take advantage of the opportunity to come back for a fifth year. The Juco transfer was just okay last year. He's getting better, and I think he would be a star next year. An offensive foul called on Miles McBride. And contact, no whistle. In fact, the other way comes McBride. He'll swoop in. That's high off the glass. And it looks like oh. that will be an offensive foul called on Deuce McBride. Yeah, but I think Nadolny, the youngster from pa Paris, did he get his feet outside the arc? Let's take a look. He is established. That's a great job right there. He got himself on the ground before Deuce left his feet. He was outside the arc. Picture perfect job. But Bridges with another triple. He only had eight on the season. Here you can tell both of these teams are works in progress. They're going to be very good by the end of the year. Micah Peavy draws the foul. That's the third. On Deuce McBride yes. in Morgantown. He <laughs> you know, he's gotten around school. this week. Yes, he has. He went to my high school. I should say I went to his high school, James Madison. No, I think he would refer to it as he went to your high school. <laughs> McClung through traffic. Like, that one's blocked. Like, I, McCuller denied by Culver and taken back by Miles McBride with the left hand. He's able to finish. It is. Yep. Defense to offense. Have a push in them. Down by 12. Under eight to go. McBride knocks it down. Plus the foul. That's a good start for the Mountaineers good, if they want to put together yep. a run. This kid is as good in the mid-range as there is in this league. Take a look, Bob. Challenged by Santos Silva. And he's just got a great knack. It, again, you know, we can see pretty shots by Sherman and McBride. But if they're going to give up close to 100 points, they're not winning this game. Tested shots. And this kid makes tough shots. Doesn't matter who's guarding him. An answer from McBride. And Johnson. Again, play quick. A foul called on the McBride three. Three of them. Before McBride knocked that one down. 
Texas Tech completely flips the script. They take a 12-point second-half lead. That was a 50-50 rebound, and T.J. Shannon wanted that ball more than three guys in gold jerseys. A three at the other end for Deuce McBride. Got to get it back to Deuce. Go to work, Deuce. He's got it with seven to shoot. McBride gets fouled by McClung. That's a bailout with four on the shot clock as McBride was throwing a wild one up. It's Burton who's quietly given about this game being physical. We know it's going to be physical. The word I use with five to shoot. McClung for three. Short. And this time the rebound ends up with Deuce McBride. A three would tie it for West Virginia. McBride looking for the tie. Got yes, it. sir. Yep. Winner. Winning DNA. You just know in the final two minutes, Deuce McBride is going to make those kind of shots. Go back to Deuce McBride. Take a look. They're down three. Transition. What's available? What are they going to give us? Well, I'll take the three. Good rhythm shot behind the screen. Tyler Edwards on McBride, yep. and there is the backcourt entry. McBride with 12 seconds to go. Go. Uses a screen. Gets to the baseline. Off balance. He's got it. Six seconds to go. Here comes McClung. A one-point game. McClung floats one. Just off the rim, and West Virginia steals it on a McBride game winner. Deuce is wild tonight. There you go, Bob. Just what they drew up. Little go screen there, but let him go to work. Winning DNA. Get used to this, West Virginia fans. You're going to see it for a couple more years. One of the most precocious sophomores in the country. And Bob, watch the other way. Good shot. Can't fault McClung for a chance to win it, but doesn't get it done. A couple of weeks ago, Mac McClung knocked down a game winner in Austin to beat Texas at the buzzer and just that close to another buzzer beater. Instead, it's Deuce McBride. What a game. 